Good morning. It's Labor Day weekend 2016. I haven't been down in my train room much recently, but now I have some time available and I've decided on the next project. I'm going to work on a car float apron. Here is the half. site. As you can see, the tracks currently just lead out into the middle of the harbour and there is no apron. There's no car float either, or any water, but that's the nature of model railroads. They take some time to develop. I have the Walters car float apron kit, and although it doesn't quite fit the site, I've made sure that I have room for it. I'm going to have to modify it quite substantially because, as we can see here, it requires a straight approach and I have a curved approach. So I'm going to need to modify it somewhat. Well, I've been at it most of Friday. It's now Saturday morning and many of the sub-assemblies have been put together. Here are the jetties. Well, there's one assembled more or less as per the instructions, but I stiffened it somewhat. I don't want to risk the, the resin pushing it in when I pour the water. This one had to be cut back to clear the approach to the uh, to clear the approaches to the float yard. The gantry has been assembled exactly as per the instructions. The head house also are done. I've stiffened it because it's always going to need to be detachable and I don't want the bottom edge bowing. Here are the weights, which I've added weight to in the hope that I can actually get some decent tension in the thread. I've had to cut this down a little bit because I am closer to the water level than the kit is designed for. Here is where the major modifications took place. As I said earlier, I have to change it so that the approach tracks come off from the side instead of from straight ahead. So I was unable to use the deck. What I've done here is I have stiffened this with some quarter inch square styrene where it's not where they're not visible and a piece of I-beam where it is visible. Next task is to get the deck planking on. I'll check in again later. Okay, this is what it now looks like. The major task for yesterday was to get the deck on the bridge, which I have done. I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. I used two layers of 20 thou styrene because it's easier to cut than 40 and gave the right thickness with the code 55 rail that I'm using. The rail sticks up slightly proud but not too far. I put a plain layer in just roughly and then I spent the time necessary to get the planking to fit accurately. That was most of yesterday's work, although it was actually kind of fun. I also cut three of the four locking mechanisms off the Walters bridge deck and installed them here. My tracks are slightly closer together than the ones on the Walters bridge, so I only installed one in the middle instead of two. I also added some, some extra detail here. I, I didn't like the way the entry platform was before. It looked very unsafe. So now I've enlarged it so the ladder can come up through the middle instead of off the end. So there's now a railing all the way around instead of just on two sides. I also replaced the Walters railing, which was really heavy, with a much finer Central Valley uh, railing. And I'm going to, I have a Central Valley ladder as well, which is much nicer. These packs here um, from Central Valley, 1601 fencing and 1602 steps and ladders. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but they were not expensive and certainly well worth the money. Much better than what you get in the Walters kits. You also yesterday, I got the jetties fully assembled. They are now ready to paint and install. I messed up on the width of my bridge, so I had to insert 
a piece of 40 thou to make it one millimeter wider. And now you see why I had to stiffen the, the, ba the base of that. It had to be cut in half because I have a benchwork join across right the middle. So that's day two. Next step is to get everything painted. Welcome back. It's Monday evening, so I've had two more days of progress. I haven't been down here all day each day. I had uh, some family activities to take care of, but I've been able to get on with it quite well. Let's take a look. Here's what it looks like at the moment. As you can see, the jetties and the bridge are just about finished and I've got some base colours on the gantry. I have to go to work tomorrow so progress is going to be slowing down but I'll check in with you again in a few more days and show you the finished product. Welcome back. It's Thursday evening and despite having to work late every night this week I have managed to get a little bit done and I'm fairly pleased with the progress. I do have um, one thing I'm a little bit disappointed with, I'll show you that in a minute. I have it uh, permanently installed. I've finished the weathering on the gantry in the head house, installed the ladder. There's still a few detail parts missing, and I'm not sure whether I like the colours on the head house. I might redo that, or I might just leave it as it is. I'm going to leave it for the time being and see if I still like it in a few days time. The one problem I had when I first installed it was a lack of clearance on this corner. So I had to move it about a quarter of an inch away from that track. The trouble is after carefully getting the curve of the approaches right I then had to move that a quarter of an inch as well and the alignment is pretty horrific now. From that angle I'm sure you can see what I mean. The front track I don't think is too bad, but the back one has this awful kink here. Since there's probably no way of tearing up the rails on here and rebuilding it without completely starting again, I'm thinking the best way out might be to rebuild this turnout. The points are in the right place, and I think if I leave this stock rail, all I've got to do is tear out the frog area, move this stock rail, and I think I can put that together and make it look reasonable. Anyway, I'm going to get on with something else for a few more days and make a final decision on that. I'm not going to tear anything apart until I know for sure that's what I want to do. It's been a few days, but guess what? The car float apron is now finished. Let's take a look at it. Looking at the approaches, you can see that I've realigned the turnout. It didn't take really very long once I put my mind to it. I think it's a lot more acceptable now than it was. Uh, I added all the hoist mechanism and other detail parts today. I've installed the windows. If you recall from earlier segments of the video, I glued nuts inside the counterweights just so I can get some decent tension on that thread there and underneath the bridge deck I have glued sheet lead so I've got some decent tension in these threads as well so um, hopefully they'll stay fairly taut. Let's take a look at this side I'm liking this quite a lot. Let me show you one more thing Here's my idea for adjustable thread tensioners. The hoist thread is super glued into the thread of the wood screw and all I need to do is turn it slightly to adjust the tension. So here we are, one car float apron. As you can see the car float is still missing, that will be my next project. Until then I'm just using the float yard as a destination and assuming that the switcher from the other end comes on the ferry each night and does the switching 